and there was a van parked there facing downwards towards the N7 but it was quite close to the laneway that I was entering and I looked at it and I just thought to myself oh, no it's all right it's all right I've seen that here I was familiar with it in in a matter of speaking so I entered in and I looked behind me and just next thing these hands came around me from behind and they were really gentle it wasn't it wasn't like a a frenzied hands around me. It was so gentle that I was kind of, what, what? Yeah. And I had my finger under my shoulder bag like that. Um, so when he put his arms around me, there was a cloth in this hand. So he was fighting to get the cloth at my face. But I was fighting with my elbow to keep it away. And then I'd realised there was a knife there as well. So then that split moment where I was going, this is not happening. It's not happening to me. Not here. Not now. It was like, Fight or flight? It, it was, yeah, just get yeah. Out of there. And it took a second, and then I went, no way, no. So he pulled me backwards, and I staggered two two steps, but landed on my left foot. And because I'm left side dominant, and I had a really cool pair of runners on at the time, they were like off road runners, and I was, I was just solid. But then the knife came down to my throat. So when the knife came down to my throat, I had no choice but to take my hand out, and I grabbed the blade of the knife and squeezed it and pulled it right down and brought my head down with it and then I started to scream and the scream was like a I don't know some kind of primal scream that came from me I shocked myself it was like a sound I'd never ever heard before and I kind of turned around and it just ran off he was gone